Okay, once again, I'm, I'm John Klein. I'm now here on behalf of myself. Uh, just to bring up my papers. Okay, good evening again, Your Worship and Councillors. Months ago, I was prepared to deliver a different delegation on the subject of the Rooming House Bylaw, where I would have asked you to repeal the bylaw so my friend would not be under threat of jail time for sharing space in his home with other Regina residents. I'm very pleased to say instead I support the recommendations from the administration in their report on homestays and ask you to vote in favor of it. Thank you, Mr. Klein. There may be questions of you. Any questions? Cultural Hill. Uh, thanks. Excuse me, Mr. Klein. So uh, you heard me ask Mr. Cusco to ask you the same. What's your, uh, what's your reason for being here today? Um, well, several reasons. Uh, one is that I was uh, uh, at times um, probably affected by this bylaw and didn't realize it. I don't think anybody in the city really realized it until it came up in the spring and people started getting uh, letters that they were facing jail time and large fines for uh, renting to roommates, which most people in the city have come to regard as very normal, especially uh, in the sense of the affordability issue. Thank you. I want you to, uh, maybe if you don't mind, because I believe you were in attendance at the, um, the public meeting we had over at Mount Smith. So based on the discussion, which was very diverse, very diverse, does this report reflect um, middle of the road, leading to the one side or the other? Could you just comment how this report reflects back on that public input? Um, I think it included absolutely all of the uh, public comments, which was good. Um, the recommendation seems to favor option one is in my reading of it, uh, with a little bit extra added on. Um, the, the one part it may not address is I'm not sure how it will affect uh, Grey Cup billeting, uh, but I'm not a lawyer, so I don't know the, uh, the implications of, of the homestay portion of that. Um, but otherwise, it looks like it will cause probably I'm, I'm in support of it because it seems to remove the threat of uh, uh, decreasing the vacancy rate by uh, saying people who own homes can't have roommates. Thanks. Here comes Good evening, John. Thank you for your um, comments this evening. And I'm wondering if, when you read the um, report and some of the recommendations, whether there were any parts of that that you still had questions about. For instance, some of the rooming house issues that people in Ward 1 have been experiencing. Have you heard much about that, or do you have anything to say about that? Yes. Um, the, uh, the bylaws seem to come up in, a, in an effort to uh, enforce different problems. Uh, and this was what was brought up at the public meeting. Uh, it seemed to be used as a method to solve a different problem, which is uh, homes that are rented uh, out by an owner that doesn't live at the home and chops it up with unpermitted development inside, uh, possibly creating safety hazards, uh, garbage being uh, piling up outside, and parking overcrowding the streets. And um, I favored the option one uh, solution because uh, with, the, with a caveat that if we mandate parking uh, be included for residences too, uh, it will encourage people to have free parking, which I'm sort of opposed to. I think we should be focusing on improving our transit system, as you know. Uh, but otherwise, uh, there's other bylaws already in effect that deal with garbage, uh, street parking, that's uh, being abused, and uh, noise and safety issues like fires. Okay. Do you have any um, any ideas that you'd like to put forward about parking on city streets that might be useful? Uh, sure. I, I, getting into the absolute specifics right now, I, I can't, but I could definitely send more comments to you if you'd like and, and to the rest on council. Um, if we uh, basically studies that uh, uh, University of California. There's a professor there named uh, Dr. Shu, uh, and he has the excellent uh, writings on on how cities can uh, transform downtowns and residential neighborhoods by stop providing parking for uh, mar uh, rates that the market doesn't support. That would be an interesting report if you could send that to me. I I, I would share it with those who would be interested. Certainly. Thank you, John. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you, and uh, well, I've been here many times. So, um, <coughs> excuse me. You made a comment that uh, if the fact that you uh, 
Can you just elaborate on that a little bit? Because you said uh, you weren't sure and you realize now that this violence affected you in what way? Uh, I'll just decline to comment further on that until the bylaws uh, are removed. But um, <laughs> suffice to say that I know that there are certain people that probably aren't speaking here today because the bylaws, in the, uh, well, until it's removed, uh, their housing could be in jeopardy if they uh, outed themselves to the city uh, until some regulation is removed that uh, isn't really uh, affecting the housing situation positively in the city. So what you're saying is people According to the bylaws, it's written right uh, now, yes. It, yeah. it puts people in uh, in jeopardy. Can I ask you this as, uh, with the three years from there, um, would this deter you from buying another property? Or I'm, I'm, not, I'm not even sure if you won't, but it doesn't matter. But would, you, would this deter you, the way the bylaws sitting today, would it deter you from buying another property? Yes, it, it would because <laughs> uh, I, I do own right now and um, I make a fairly decent uh, salary and I've calculated out affordability and uh, even at my salary at approximately 50000 a year, uh, I probably would qualify for a mortgage uh, by myself, uh, even with savings in Regina, anywhere. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, how do you feel that the city should deal with, you know, a situation where you have a couple of renters, a couple of roommates? Maybe you do, maybe you don't. We don't want to vote. But how do you deal, how does the city, and what, what's your thought of, I have seven children living in my house, seven garbages, seven vehicles, maybe not seven, five vehicles, they're all legitimate, living in my, they are my children. And my wife, how do I deal with that based on this bylaw and the traffic that I am going to, Thank you very much. You can return to the gallery and we'll move on to our next delegation. Uh, Jim Elliott. 